show you the process of how I edit party images. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Look at my three stripes. Can't you see I settled in, in Lithuania? I already wearing three stripes. These are my favorite pants. They're the most comfiest. No, they're the comfiest. And I forgot English. That's also very awesome. And the problem is that I forgot English and I still have not improved in my Lithuanian since I forgot that in those last three years. I decided I wanted to do a video. I might show you the process of how I edit party images because I started shooting party uh, rather than gigs. There's not a lot of gigs happening and I decided I am not gonna work voluntarily because once you start doing it it's really hard to stop. You want to keep doing it but at the same time you want to live and I realized that I value my time and I value my energy and if I'm not getting paid even if I love doing it I'm not gonna do it unless it's like a purely love job and everything is cool that I want to do it but that's a rare occasion I'd say yeah so parties parties and I love partying I love music dance music because I wasn't doing that at all in Melbourne wasn't dancing and partying so it's a little bit of a change and you know I have a I have an event to edit I shot it last Friday I started editing it yesterday but I haven't finished and thought I might show you the process I haven't recorded a video in so long this is slightly intimidating I'm so afraid that I'm missing something because I forgot all these like little bits and pieces of how to do it I already did the selections there was like 400 images I think and now it's like 80 and I'll open all raw files when I'm shooting a party I can put a lot of nice edits and like make pictures look cool but I really care about the vibe for pictures to be best Prime quality. I must enjoy the party. And I think that goes for a lot of projects. Like if you really enjoy it, you're gonna do a good job. A lot of my images, because I shoot with flash or sometimes I don't, but the, most of the time when I'm shooting parties, I shoot with flash. Some pictures end up being like this. And you think that's a shit image, but you know, it's not in proper focus and it's blurred out and it's too bright. However, this is how it turned out. And I like it. I like the mood of it. It's, it's motion. It's in the moment. It doesn't have have to be sharp all the time. I like the light, everything about this image. And how nice does the hair look like? It's blue and then the redness all around it. Amazing. So when I go to the camera roll, I usually select the uh, great images by artists and people because they're usually a little bit different. How many images do I have? 10. I usually put only like in little batches, 10, 10, 10 or like seven, whatever. Because if I put all of it, if I would put 40 images, my computer would be saying goodbye. I love this one. I don't think I used flash on this one. I think it's just long exposure and I love it. Another thing, I do edit every picture on Photoshop, every single one, but I import layers from the previous picture because if I would be doing by hand everything, it would not be productive. However, for teaching purposes, I'll do a couple of these um, by hand manually. Let's start with... I use color fill because I explained the grain color fill poorly in the following clips. This text is the correct order for you to easily follow. Solid color of 1 to 5, 1 to 5, and then add noise and Gaussian blur. You make it a smart object also. You add noise and then you blur it slightly so it would be like film grain. And then I apply all my layers onto it. And let's start with curves. I can do something great without remembering how to do it. You know when you find something that works and you just do it and do it again, you apply it. So that's how it is for me with uh, images, like layers. I've found what works and I can apply it and save time. And when I need to redo it, it's not that I know what I'm doing exactly. I feel it. It's like, do I want this orange or do I want yellow? Orange. There's gonna be two little colors. It's gonna be only orange and magenta. There's nothing else really happening. So I choose yellow to have a separation. And then I'll probably make red into pink. No, no, I'll keep it a red. Magenta, what can we do with that? The next thing that I'll do is gonna be... <laughs> it's the cat! After this, I will apply... Let's do it now. Now. Threshold. This is the key 
to a grungy image, I'd say. I do multiply and then you see the blacks, they become black. But after applying more texture, it's gonna be really good. And these things, the grain, wouldn't be as good without the previous color fill. But before that, I'm still gonna apply levels. I just wanted to see how it'll look with the threshold. <laughs> Edit your textures. If you apply them, you have the ability to edit them, adjust them to work best for you, to look best. I'll use a texture from my texture pack. This one I'll apply a screen. I like these white corners. I was planning to go to the gym today. I'm afraid that I'm not gonna make it because we have a meeting in two and a half hours. No, no fucking way. No gymming way. And then I'll apply grain. And grain is from main grain. Very popular textures. I also created a new one from this. We have pioneer grain and less of these dust spectacles, whatever they called. Let's apply color dutch. This is how it looks without any textures. These are with textures. Without threshold and textures. With threshold and textures. And that's the main thing. It's how you use your textures. Of course, there are these adjustment layers, but it's all the additional things. Nice. I think that's it. Let's edit the one that was very blurry, this one. So what I'll do, I'll take this image, I copy and drag. <laughs> so much darkness and everything. I can adjust threshold, first of all, that won't help. So I'm gonna go back to camera raw and make this image brighter and use gradient mask to make this side be balanced with the other side because it was too bright. I wonder what's the issue sometimes because I have this while I was editing yesterday. The image is nice, but when I make those adjustments, it becomes a mess that you cannot recognize. It's not even a vibe anymore. It's nothingness. It's threshold with a little bit of color, and I do not like that. It has to have something else. So we can go back and maybe increase the shadow visibility, decrease highlights and whites. I think I need more detail. Oh, so it's the curves. Let's edit it because it's not working the way I wanted it to work. I went to shoot Men I Trust and I wouldn't say I didn't like them because I didn't really listen to them. I knew of their existence and heard a couple of songs. However, I didn't watch the whole concert because I was just like, mm, not the vibe. Girls singing nice songs and should be romantic and everything, but it's I'm not vibing at all. The same happened with Nick Cave and it's always like that. I went to Nick Cave's concert and it was like two hours, maybe more. And I was like, oh my god, how long are we gonna be standing here? Like he's just crying on the stage. I don't like it. I don't understand it. I don't I don't get it. And guess what happened later on? The same with like Men I Trust. I turned on one song and another song and then the third song and I started to know the lyrics and I started singing and I'm like, mm, I kind of vibe with it. And it's not that I hate when it happens, but it's just, come on, I could be enjoying this gig, but I don't. And then when it ends, oh, this is good. This is, mm -hmm. yeah, now, see, oh, I like this mixture of colors. I'm not entirely sure about this, or maybe, Yes to pink, I just need to change the yellow now. Ooh, mm-hmm. Okay, we're getting there. I'm gonna save this more than once. It has quit unexpectedly. Do you think I need anything else? This looks pretty good to me. 
I love it, I love it. The DJs have their own colors. And then the dancers, it's moving and it's hot. Look at this image. It does not look good. I'll say this. I haven't edited it at all. Let's get this guy out of the frame. I got a tattoo on my already existing tattoo on Monday. And you know when it heals, it's so itchy. It's driving me crazy. It's... Okay, not as tragic, but nothing good. I kind of want it to be like bluish. Oh, this color, salad. No, I like this. No, cyan. This cyan greenish. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. From an ordinary image that looked like this, I got this. And this is pretty damn cool. Sometimes if I don't like someone's face, that sounded very rude. But if it doesn't like, you know, look good, I like this hand. I don't need the hand. Maybe I do, because other sometimes it looks like something is missing. You see, if I delete him, you have all this space. And then you want to make it equal. But the more you delete, the more odd it starts to look. And then you remember, oh, this is a party. There was a lot of people in the party. And it would be good to show these people. Because this doesn't do justice. So I'll leave it like this. Wanted to show that I do that sometimes. I delete you. Like you never went to a party. Here you go. I disclosed my party editing practice. For some unknown reason, my camera stopped recording the ending part. So I'll just say thank you for being here with me today, and uh, I'll see you soon. Enjoy the editing process. Mano logika apie žiemą, sezonus, ir atėjo čia vasara. Žiūrėkit, gruodis jau baigėsi. Tai liko... Oi, 